Face to face in Bangkok, anti-government protesters and Thai police got into a violent confrontation three months in the making. The mostly peaceful demonstration started in July, but for the second day, thousands ignored the risk of arrest under emergency decree issued the day before. As promised in an announcement just after the violence began, Thai authorities began using everything at their disposal to stop the protests, including water cannon with burning agent laced blue water. The protesters are demanding a new constitution, reform of the monarchy, and the resignation of the cabinet, including Prime Minister Prayuth Chanocha, something he dismissed on Friday as he explained the reasons for the emergency order. As you are all aware of the situation, the government must use the emergency decree. We have to proceed because the situation has become violent, with some things that have never happened before. The protests started like the other two peaceful protests earlier in the week. Its location was changed at the last minute to confuse the security forces. They continued their call for the release of the top protest organizers who were arrested on Thursday morning. But about an hour into it, the police made their move. After several barricades were taken down and police advanced on the protesters, many tried to blend into the surrounding neighborhood. Even though the leadership has officially called off the protest for the night, riot police are clearing out the area of the original site for that protest earlier in the evening. The big question now for the leadership is how do they move forward with the protests? Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.